All right, here is my clay making video part two, different type of clay. This is salt and sea clay. And you can see it has little bits of gypsum. And I'll show you some of the seashells, little tiny seashells. It was a freshwater lake where the area is that I um, dig this clay. And it's at a friend's, friend's house. He lets me dig there whenever I want. There's loads of clay down there. You gotta be very careful where you dig. There's a lot of state park and government land and private land and hunting refuges. So you don't wanna dig on the wrong spot. You get, get in some trouble. But anyways, I've taken this dry clay and I've put it into this bucket. And I'm gonna stir it up. I also wanted to show the meshes that I was using in my other video so there's some dry clay on here but i think that's an eighth inch or yeah about an eighth inch quarter is a little bit bigger i believe that's a quarter quarter inch so that's got to be an eighth inch and then uh the other screen that i was using is this little screen from an Asian food store and it's a little bit bigger than a window screen we're starting to get into pretty small measurements here and then here's a window screen so a window screen is about the finest I'll go through with this clay it's a very fine clay there's almost no temper in it and uh, I want to get most of the seashells out but you can see those little boogers if I can and they'll pop out after the firing and spall out all over your all over your pot surface. So I'll try to get most of those out. So I'm gonna start mixing this up here. All right, so I've put that dry clay in here a day or two ago, and all the clay is pretty much dissolved. You when you dump it in there, you do not want to touch the clay. It it puts a little smooth spot on the clay and it makes it a lot harder to dissolve so I'm gonna just uh, mix this up here using the paddle bit the mixing bit need to get a real drill one of these days Try to get most of that clay blended up and moving around. So I've added a little bit of water to this just to make it a little bit runnier so it'll go through the screens better. You could add a lot of water to it. It'll really go through the screens. But with this type of clay, if I add too much water, it takes out a lot of the salts and and uh, so, uh, what is it? Uh, calcium carbonates, and then doesn't get the eggshell buff colors and some of the really neat purple flashes on there. So we want to keep a lot of the salts in there. So just gonna mix it up, and then I'm gonna start pouring it through. All right, I wanted to show another strainer. I forgot I have this one, but this is my. I usually use it for sifting sand, but. It works also, and it's just a little bit finer than the, the Asian store. This is a spaghetti strainer. Got it at the thrift shop for like three or four bucks. And it has extending arms so it can cover your buckets. And uh, I'll show you how I use this one in a little while. So I'm going to start pouring this clay off. So I'm going through a coarse screen and then through a window screen doubled up and then the really coarse screen down here just to hold the window screen from dumping the clay all over the place. So I got a little nest there, got the clay mixed up. Let's see, I might need to add a little more water to this mix, but we'll see. To my mix that way it'll flow 
flow a little better through the string. I'm gonna wash it. Sometimes it'll start pouring off one side of the window screen and all over the ground. So. It's messy. Any way you cut it, it's a little bit messy. I just keep dumping off all the seashells and all the foil stuff. Keep doing that till I fill up the bucket. Okay, this is how I add my temper to this particular clay, being that it has no temper in it or very little. Uh, I'm going to be adding this dune sand to it, and most of it goes through this screen, which is about window window screen thickness. So I'm going to dump dump some of this in here. Now some of the ancient pottery. From this area, the Salton Sea area had some sand temper, but if you look at the broken cross section of a shard, it's uh, usually not much temper in there, or if there is, it's probably grog or you know ground up pottery. So very fine stuff, um, and it's amazing because this temper is or this clay is very uh, sensitive to heat, heating and cooling and all that stuff. It, likes to pop and crack because there's a lot of salt in the clay and uh, but this sand works fairly well a little bit higher it's starting to dip into the clay and then it'll not go through the screen anymore so the screen takes out most of the stuff. A lot of times, back in the day, I used to grind my clay on a matate, and I dig dig in some areas where they do a lot of shotgun shooting and uh, get buckshot in your your clay while you're grinding it. And then this this way eliminated most of the the problem. I don't like lead in my clay anyway, so. There's about three quarters of a five gallon bucket into this trash can. And I stir it up. And it'll be ready to pour off into the form. And I just kind of measure my clay. I'll put my hand in there and feel if I, if I like the amount of temper in the liquid. If it feels right, then I pour it off. If it needs more, I will. Uh, Add more temper. If there's too much temper in there, then I'll take from a, another bucket that I haven't mixed any temper into it. So it's all kind of just hit and miss, but after a while you get you get to know your clay, speak its language. Everyone, every clay has a different language. Feels about right. We'll give it a shot. Okay, if you didn't watch my pottery video number one, this is where I pour my clay off into. And it's a plaster form covered by a sheet. So I'm gonna just fill these up about four inches deep, cover it up with a sheet, let it sit for a couple of days, maybe a week, and then I'll pull my clay out. Just gonna shoot another little clip on here in case you didn't watch the first video. I'll just fold the sheet up over here to keep the rodents and leaves and stuff out of my clay while it dries. Cover it up with some plywood. And I'll come back and get it in about, I keep checking on it every day, but Usually it takes about three or four days before it's finished drying. Winter time takes a lot longer, maybe 
two, three, four weeks. That's where it'll sit. And one other thing on the sand that I put in the clay, this clay was dune sand, and it was decomposing granite and feldspar.